In this full-length weather forecast, we're going to discuss everything from the latest Atlantic tropical update to a welcomed period of warmer weather in northern Europe, and everything in between. Let's get into this forecast with photo of the day. This one was submitted by Meso Hunter through Discord, and it's a picture of a hail-producing supercell approaching in central Oklahoma. In fact, you can find the full time-lapse of this same storm on my Plus channel, which I've linked in the description down below. I also wanted to do a quick severe weather verification just to see how my forecast performed for the severe weather outbreaks of June 21st and June 22nd. On the day before the June 21st outbreak, I placed my first ever level 4 risk over Czechia, northern Austria, and small portions of Germany and Poland. On the day of the event, I updated my severe weather outlook and expanded the threat north and west after taking into consideration the latest trends. Severe weather reports after the event reveal that the highest concentration of large severe large hail did indeed occur over Czechia, with a couple other hot spots in northern Italy and Germany. Now for June 22nd, I placed another level 4 risk, this time extending from Bosnia to Ukraine. The severe weather outbreak began with thunderstorms explosively developing along the Dinaric Alps. They quickly began producing very large to giant hailstones, causing major damage to homes, businesses, and vehicles. As the storms continued to develop and spread across the level 4 risk, they formed into a mesoscale convective system, causing damaging wind gusts in some locations. If you are personally impacted by these severe weather outbreaks, feel free to drop a comment below with your experience. And now let's get a brief update on the tropics. We did just have tropical storm Alberto form in the Gulf of Mexico last week, as well as another pair of disturbances which brought torrential rainfall to Central America and parts of the US. Those systems are all history now, and as of today, June 25th, we actually have a new area to watch. This one is just north of South America and the Caribbean, and the disturbance itself won't have a chance of developing until it approaches Central America later this week. Regardless of tropical development, it's looking like heavy rainfall leading to flooding is going to be the primary hazard with this, so make sure you keep an eye on that if you live in this part of the world. As I record this video on Tuesday, there's a couple things to take note of, and I'll turn on the isobars to make it easier to see. A strong high pressure system is over mainland Europe, and this is helping out with the warmer weather reaching the UK, Ireland, and eventually the Nordic countries. A low pressure area is right over Italy, and this will be the culprit for repetitive severe weather events over the Balkans, especially the Western Balkans, through this week. Also, around Iberia, we have a weak cutoff low descending over the region. As we push this forward, now you're going to start to notice these changes. One of the biggest shifts we're going to see is the end to the warmer weather in the UK and Ireland as a strong low pressure system approaches from the Atlantic on Thursday into Friday. This cooler weather will then be felt over the Nordic countries as the system expands over the Norwegian Sea. When this occurs, it will simultaneously tap into the activity in the Balkans, ultimately pulling it further north. This will be the reason for a northward expansion in the severe thunderstorm risk once again, on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Next up, I'm going to be introducing a new graphic, and this is the extended severe weather outlook. These will be used to visualize longer range severe weather trends, especially over the course of a week or two. Severe storms are going to be possible in the Iberian Peninsula between June 25th and the 29th due to that cutoff low I just mentioned. Multiple rounds of severe weather is likely in the Balkans, including some significant severe thunderstorms also being possible. I've placed the areas with the greatest risk in the red. You'll also notice a black outline from southern France all the way to central Europe. This indicates a more specific time frame to watch, which would be June 26th through the 29th. Here's the expected rainfall totals over the next three days. Modest rainfall accumulation is likely in most of Europe, but I can't rule out some localized flooding issues, especially in the Balkans where heavy thunderstorms are expected. Those storms may only affect a small area at a time, but they still can produce very high rainfall rates, so be on the lookout for this threat. Compare that to the 5-day rainfall outlook, you can see that northward trend in the thunderstorm risk clear as day right through Central Europe, with an increase in the rain chances over Portugal and Spain. Additionally, some parts of the UK, Ireland, France, and the Benelux will remain under relatively dry conditions. Speaking of precipitation, take a look at the trend for the next 7 days. You'll notice how many areas expecting heavy rainfall are in southern Europe, which generally sees dry summers. Because of this, multiple areas between Iberia and the Middle East are shaded in green, with the darker shades indicating a greater surplus of precipitation, and this is the case for Serbia down to North Macedonia. 
Drier than normal conditions are likely for much of the Nordic countries, excluding areas further north and west, as well as the UK and Ireland into western Russia. It looks like almost all of Europe will experience warmer than average conditions, with some exceptions, especially in coastal or mountainous areas. That blue shade encroaching into Ireland is a sign of that strong and compact low pressure system from the Atlantic moving in, with a widespread blue shade over western Russia due to cooler air sweeping south. I think up to this point we've covered everything for the week, but I would like to do one more thing before concluding this report, a sneak peek into July. For those hoping for warm weather to continue, then I unfortunately don't have the greatest news. Much like the start of June, which featured an extended period of cooler than average weather, especially in northern Europe, July is going to kick off with another onslaught of low pressure from the Atlantic, leading to cooler weather. This strong low pressure area arriving later this week is only the beginning of this next sequence of storms, which arrives after July 1st. Even though it's looking like a bunch of weaker systems with relatively light precipitation, it's still going to be enough to blow away the warmer weather. Other than those changes coming up for Western and Northern Europe, another thing to watch for as we enter July is the continuation of severe weather and even a heat wave building in the east. For my extended severe weather forecast for July 1st through the 5th, I think Italy and the Balkans all the way to Russia will be the places to watch for severe weather, especially since the north and west will come under the influence of cold Atlantic lows. There's lots of details that we're going to need to refine in the coming days, so definitely make sure you stick around for more updates on that. If you're new to the channel and enjoyed this report, consider subscribing so you never miss my videos and other posts. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.